everybody and welcome into another video. My name is Trisha and today we're going to check out the new premium shop and I'm going to show you what I got on my dream snap. I actually did pretty good and I'm super excited. So here is a reminder real quick of what my dream snap was for last week. It was out of the toy box. It was a decor challenge and I really love how it turned out. I was a little nervous because the voting seemed to be messed up if we were still going to do okay. But look, I got 4,000 Moonstones. I scored 71.87 and ranked 1,693. I'm really happy with it. I, I took those 4,000 Moonstones and immediately went and bought this house with those 4,000 Moonstones. Are you kidding? The Desert Palace. It is so pretty. It's such a unique house. I was really excited to see that. There's also Frozen Elsa in the shop. I still haven't bought this one, even though I think the outfit is very pretty. Uh, 2500 I just still haven't done it. We also got the Pride Land backpacks back. These are the Lion Cub backpack and then the Merry Warthog <laughs> backpack, which is so cute. I love it. And then the Happy Meerkat. Oh gosh, these are so adorable. I really do kind of want to buy these, but I'm I'm just, I'm waiting. I am very stingy with my Moonstones. I already bought the Bountiful Croc a while ago, so I could show you guys him. But then look down here at the bottom. We have a page two. You guys, we have a page two. Go over here. Of course, I had to buy the Frosty Fortress. I needed it for a build that I'm doing in the Frosted Heights. So I grabbed that one today as well. And I also grabbed this Touch of Arendelle Pantry. I'll show you my living room. This fireplace completed my living room. It needed this fireplace. It made everything perfect. There's also decorative plates and this colorful dish cabinet, which is really, really pretty in person. Then there's the cozy wanderer bundle. You get the bunk bed, a green rug, the blue wanderer couch, the wanderer window, wanderer table, and a ceiling light, which for 1500, this is a lot of stuff, really. These are this is a ton of items. I think you can make a really cute cafe with this little uh, table and add these benches around it. And then obviously the light, the light looks kind of like a cafe light. The rug is nice. I feel like we don't have enough rugs in the game. So if you want another rug option, this pack might be for you. And then there's the rainy day essentials bundle. Very cute, two umbrellas, 1200. I don't know like if I would use them enough to justify spending that, but if you love the umbrella, then you've got two more options to go. I started a little build up here in my Frosted Heights. It's like the cozy cottage corner back here. Uh, I put all the cottages together. We're still working on it. It's not nearly done, but I went ahead and put that fortress in the back and it's really quite large. You can see I used to have Jack Skeleton's house back there and it actually looked really good at the end of this walkway but I've been waiting for this to come back and so I bought it. It's way, way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's definitely a big item. You can enter it. You go over here to the stairs and enter it. I kind of blocked it off because I'm not gonna really be using the inside of it, but it looks very pretty. I'll show you guys the footprint on this thing though. It is very big. Look at this. Look how big it is. Like it is way bigger than I thought it was. Uh, maybe we could put it somewhere so I can show you. I don't even know if I could put it somewhere to show you all around the edges of it. So here it is in all its glory. It is such a big item, but it's really, really beautiful. And I've been waiting for this to come back. Look at the side with the bell and the little balcony up there. You've got this little wagon down here. And then the front has the stairway. Now you don't walk up the stairway. You just kind of enter it almost like it's a house, which is a little bummer. I would have loved to be able to walk up those stairs, but you enter the house just like that. And then here it is. I have to get really far away so you can see the top of it, but it's just such a good item. It has trees built in to the side and look at the look at the bottom. So it's one of those houses that kind of blends into whatever area you put it in because look, it's blending into the sand. It's doing such a good job. I love that. So here's that side and then you can see over here. 
Very pretty. So there you go. There it is at night. Man, look at the moon right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a great shot. So there it is at night. All of the lights on the walkway light up and they have snow on them. Oh man, it's just such a detailed item. I love how detailed it is. I might move it away from where I have it because I feel like you can't see all this detail where I have it right now. But there you go, all of the windows light up and it is very, very pretty. The next item that I snagged was the Desert Palace and I put it right over here in Eternity Isle. It fit perfectly. It's actually a very large house as well. So I put it up here in the wastes, which is near this neat little cave. I just love the look of this cave, but here it is. It's so nice. It is a very, very large item. Let me move it out so I can walk all the way around and so you guys can see all the detail. So in the front, you still have a mailbox and everything. The inside looks just like all the other insides of the houses. So it's one that you could decorate you could turn it into anything you want around the sides it has these beautiful windows and that little balcony up there in the back it's pretty plain it's just like this there's no door or anything like that it doesn't do anything no fireworks nothing like that but it looks so nice the only thing I was sad about with this one is I felt like there was a missed opportunity for it to glow so the windows glow, but look at the glass dome on the top. I feel like that looks like a glass dome. If that just lit up blue, I feel like this, this just would have been absolutely perfect, but I'm not mad. I love it. I think it's a great house. It looks amazing over here in the Eternity Isle area, and you can get it really close to the trees over here, which is nice. So I had it nestled right back here and look at that. Look how close these little trees sit next to it. Oh, it's just so pretty, but it is very, very big. It might be able to work in like the sunlit plateau if you don't have the expansion pack, uh, but yeah. I love it. I'm going to do some kind of build up here with this big lion right here. Oh, he glows. I didn't realize he glowed at night. Oh, so cool. So I'm going to do some kind of build up here to kind of add to this area. And this will be my kind of centerpiece. And the last item that I bought were the little plate in the fireplace. Look at my living room. I'm just in love with my living room now that I have this fireplace. I feel like it matches so, so well. Uh, this is what it looks like. It kind of has a glow. There's not really fire inside of it per se. Like you can't see any fire, but it does have a nice glow. It attaches to the wall and looks super nice. Now these two plates up here also come with that set and they just look really cute in my kitchen. I just added them over there. This little cupboard right here, it also has the same little plates at the top and look at the handles on this. It's so pretty. Those gold handles. It has some glassware in there. Just a very, very very pretty little set and it completed my living room. I needed the fireplace guys. I just, I needed the fireplace for my living room because it fits perfectly. And here is the bountiful croc. He is so adorable. I love him. He works just like the other crocodiles. You can hold him and the pictures. He's basically a little watermelon. And then he has, what is it, like kiwi and stuff on the side. Like a little, I don't know, just like he has all the fruit on the back. He looks really good in the summertime. Look at his little face. He's adorable. I love him. I mostly use him in the summertime. The current challenge we have is Arendelle Showcase. It's another decor challenge. You're supposed to transport yourself to Arendelle and decorate your valley with frozen inspired designs. So very exciting. It's a decorating challenge. It's supposed to be more frozen themed. So get out all of your frozen items. I was kind of curious about these right here. You guys see these little snowmen? What are those? I have never seen those little snowmen those are not the little stuffed snowmen that sit because we have lots of those and I don't think you can craft that snowman. If you guys know what the snowman is, let me know because I don't know. My stream didn't know. We streamed earlier today and had such a good time, but we were trying to figure out what these little snowmen were. They're so cute, but I don't know what they are. What do you guys think of the items this week? I thought the two house skins was very exciting because I never bought that fortress and I really wanted it. So I'm glad that came back. I think they might use that second page to bring back old star path items. 
I don't know, but why do all of a sudden we have two pages of items? Maybe because they're gearing up to bring back some old stuff. I don't know. It's kind of exciting. What are your predictions on that? Do you think they're going to be bringing back old Starpath items? Did you pick up anything in the shop this week? I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye.